So uh, today we'll be checking out our new plugin that's the product video extension for the Magento 2 platform based web stores. Now this particular plugin allows the Magento 2 web store admin to upload videos related to the product on the product page itself. Earlier Magento would only allow the admin to make use of the YouTube and the Vimeo URLs for uploading the product videos. But now by using this particular plugin that's the product video extension for Magento 2 the store admin can upload the video files directly from their system local file and thus there is no need for a YouTube or a Vimeo video URL link. The admin can even set the player options and the color for the video player and can even enable the loop and autoplay for the product video. So uh, today we'll be checking out uh, the workflow of this uh, particular uh, plugin at the storefront as well as we'll be seeing how the admin would be able to add the product's uh, video from the product edit page for a new or for an already created product there. But before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. So first of all, I'll just take you uh, to the setup of the product videos. And uh, thereafter, we'll see the video visibility on the product page. And lastly, we'll be checking out the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin. So to set up the product video, let me take you to the admin backend panel first. So after logging into my Magento 2 web store uh, admin backend panel, what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, navigate through catalog and then products. And here we'll find the complete listing of the products that we have within our store. So uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be searching this particular product and we'll be adding a video to it. So it's a drawstring bike uh, shot here that we can see. So uh, let me search it up in my catalog there. So it's a configurable product. So I'll go to the main product uh, that we have. Here's the main product itself and I'll edit it up. Now you can add the product videos to an already created product or to a new product as well. The sequence goes uh, same for uh, both of the products there, the new one as well as to the already created one. So on the product edit page, you have to scroll down to a section that's the images and videos. Now here you can add the videos uh, for your particular product. You can also add a thumbnail image for the same and to add the, uh, add the video, you'll have to tap here on the add video button on the right hand side. And that brings up this particular section wherein we can add a new video for our uh, product itself. So here we have the video source option as video URL. So you can also choose uh, the YouTube or the Vimeo uh, supported URLs here. But now for the timing for this particular functionality, we have provided the upload option. So uh, after choosing the video source as upload, you'll have to choose the upload uh, video. So you'll choose the file. So let me tap here on the choose file option. And uh, thereafter, I'll just uh, upload one video here. I'll go to one of the uh, sections here and I'll choose the test WBM file there or the web M file. So you can make use of the MP4 file or the uh, files with the extension that is webm file after uploading the video you can see the video is visible on the right hand side uh, here you can pause and play it uh, uh, for a preview itself then you can set up the title uh, I'll set it as uh, product video and uh, here I'll set it as description video uh, description video for the product uh, we can uh, choose a preview image as well so let me choose that and uh, here I'll just go to my desktop and here I'll select the test image so I've uploaded the uh, video the preview image and here I'll choose the role uh, for this as the base and I'll choose here as small and thereafter I'll just tap here on the save button so you can see now under the images and videos here we have a video being added. You can delete that up by tapping here on the delete. And here you can see the uh, title that we had set uh, for the video, product video. Uh, it's a base one and uh, it's a small one. So uh, you can delete it or you can add more by tapping here on the add video button as well. 
So after you have edited the video, you just tap here on the save button. Now you can see that this, the changes have been saved and our video has been saved there. So if I scroll down uh, to this particular section, uh, that's the images and videos. Here we'll find our video being uh, visible. Now let's check the front end. So here's the same product. Right now uh, I've not refreshed it. Let's refresh the page and then we'll be able to see the video there that we have uploaded. So now you can see that uh, we have a video and here you can see a play a button is there. And here also you can see a icon for the video images there. Now uh, I just uploaded a demo video there. So let's tap here on the play button and you can see the video is being played there. And here I can pause the video. I can maximize the window here. As you can see, uh, we can go back to the small thing. We can mute, unmute uh, the same. Uh, we can change the settings for the speed. We can choose it as normal or you can also uh, change the speed there uh, to give the video in a faster uh, response there. And uh, let's tap here on the play button. Now the admin can also set up the configuration for this. So as uh, the uh, there's an auto play for this uh, uh, video there. Uh, right now you, we saw that it was not auto playing. Yeah, it's auto playing right now after we have played it up. So that's how uh, this particular plugin works. That's uh, the uh, product video uh, extension for the Magento 2 platform based uh, web stores. And that's how you can add the videos on uh, your products and they are then visible to the customers on the product page itself. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, let's see how the admin can make the initial configuration settings uh, for this uh, plugin. So uh, for that, uh, let's hop on to the admin backend panel once again. And uh, to make the initial configuration settings, we'll just navigate through system, uh, stores basically, then configuration, and on the configuration page under the web cool block here, uh, we have the video player. And here we have two different configuration settings. One is for the video player configuration and the other one is for the video player appearance. Now let's go to the video player configuration. So if you wanna enable this uh, video player uh, or uh, video player functionality, then you'll have to choose it as a yes. You can choose the video autoplay as yes or a no. You can choose uh, to play the video in loop. So you can choose a yes or a no for that. So this was the video player configuration. Then comes the video player appearance. Here you can choose uh, the color of the uh, video player. Uh, you can choose the player options that are play large. That is a maximization of the window. Uh, you can mute you can have the volume option and you can have the full screen so you can provide any one of these player options to uh, the customers so that they can access those uh, options here as you can see uh, play pause uh, we have uh, the uh, mute unmute option uh, maximize minimize window option here so uh, accordingly you can provide these options the ones that you have selected here would be then available for the customers to use on the video player on the front end and here you can see that we have a purple coloration here and the same coloration comes from the primary color here so whatever color you have chosen here would then be reflected here within the uh, video player as well so you just need to choose a color here and uh, after setting up these configuration settings just tap here on the save configuration button and we have saved the configuration settings there so yes, that was much about the product video extension uh, for the Magento 2 platform based web stores and I hope this particular plugin uh, video helped you out in understanding the flow of this uh, plugin itself. If you still have any questions, queries or suggestions, you can anytime get back to us at support at the retailwebcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.tvs.com. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.